Today we begin the Holy Week. And if you're familiar with uh, the rosary, the, what, is, what is called the sorrowful mysteries begin with Palm Sunday. Actually, yung agony in the garden, you know? But it, it, it's just, today, it gets the ball rolling. Yung kinanta natin kanina, via, kinanta kanina, via Dolorosa. Dolorosa means sorrowful. I just want to point us to what Jesus said. We're not taking away, we're not denying the fact that it is a, a sorrowful week. The passion is not joyful, it's sorrowful. Pero ang sinabi ni Jesus nung gospel last Sunday, which happened maybe Monday or Tuesday of Holy Week, tapos na silang nag, nag, ano, nag, pumasok sa Jerusalem in their triumphal entry, and then Greeks were looking for Jesus. And then Jesus said, <clears throat> The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Glorified. Sa perspective ni Jesus, itong mga susunod na araw, He is sorrowful, pero glorious mysteries din. Misteryo nga, eh, no? Minsan parang nakakalito, no? hindi natin masyadong maintindihan, pero mystery nga. Eh, no? Point is, we maintain our faith. We remain faithful in the midst of things we cannot understand. Yung mga disipulo, they, they proclaim Jesus King. Ang sabi nila, you are the Christ. Ang ibig sabihin ng Christ, anointed. Anointed King. Kung mapapansin ninyo, mababasa niyo sa Gospels, si Jesus sinasabi niya noong una, sige, wag muna kayo maingay. Kasi hindi pa napapanahon eh. Wag muna kayo maingay. May, may plano ako. Uh, don't tell anybody yet. And then, this day comes, Palm Sunday, papasok na sila sa Jerusalem. Tapos yung mga tao, sinabi, Hosanna. Ibig sabihin ng Hosanna, save us, Lord. And at the same time, it's a praise for their deliverer. Save us. Galing yan sa Psalm 118. Na nagsimula, this is, na, na, yung isang portion na yun, nagsimula sa, this is the day the Lord has made. Yun yung kinakanta ng mga, ng mga sumasalubong kay Jesus at saka nag a sa kanya. Habang nag, nagwawagay-wagay sila ng palaspas. This is the day. Ito na. Ito na yung araw. Anong araw? The day for our deliverance. Because now, the Christ, the Messiah, the Deliverer has come and He will deliver us from the, the oppression of Rome. Yung panglimang, panglimang banyagang uh, superpower na nangaalipin sa atin. Sinabi ko na ito noon, no, no, tayo. 400 years tayo nasa, nasa uh, pang-aalipin ng mga Espanyol. At feeling natin, apa, ibon mang may layang lumipad, Kulungin mo, umiiyak. Bayan pa kaya. Sakdal dilag. Ang, ang di nas, magnasang makaalpas. 400 years under Spanish rule and we felt oppressed. Inapi tayo, hindi ba? Kaya kinanta, kinumposin natin, no? uh, sa manlulupig, hindi ka paapi, hindi ba? Ang, 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 ang gusto natin, wala nang ibang... Uh, Mimithiin pa tayo, kundi ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. Di ba? That's, that's the feeling of somebody who's been oppressed. Imagine 400 years na tayo, wala pang kalahati dun sa oppression na naranasan ng mga Israelita. 1,000 years sila. Lima, hindi lang isa, limang iba't ibang mga dayuhang banyaga na nag-oppress sa kanila. Kaya ito na, si Jesus, no? dumating. Ito na, ito na yung pagkakataon natin. Ito yung pag-asa natin. Ito ang magde-deliver sa atin. Kaya nga binanggit ko, di ba? Ang iniisip siguro nila, ito, anak ni David. Kung si David, ang daming pinagpapatay, kung si David, napakagaling na general at kapitan ng, ng army, aba, lalo yung, yung susunod na misaya. Di ba? Mas marami siyang papatayin. Mas marami siyang papasukuin kaysa kay Joshua at saka kay David. Kaya siguro, 
habang naririnig nga si Jesus na nagtuturo, siguro nalilito sila. Kasi sinasabi niya, mahalin niyo yung kaaway ninyo. Ang sinasabi niya, pag merong sundalo, pina, pinabuhat sa inyo ng isang milya yung, yung sandata nila, aba, mag-volunteer kayo, isang milya pa, go the extra mile. Bless your persecutors. Pray for those who revile you. So, narilito sila na parang, dali, ito ba yung misaya natin? Tapos, itong Palm Sunday, pagkatapos pumasok ni Pontius Pilate sa Jerusalem, sa malaking kabayo, na merong espada, merong sigurong sibat, at merong kalasag. Tapos, ang dami niyang kasama, horsemen and chariots, puro mga malalaking katawan, puro mga naka, ano, uh, armed to the teeth, sabi nga nila, no? may, may, may mga espada, may mga sibat, may mga catapult. Pumasok sila sa Jerusalem. Kasi Passover, Independence Day nila, ito yung potential na pag-aaklas ng mga Israelita. At lalo na ngayon, nabalitaan nila si Jesus, eh. ito daw yung Christ nila, ito daw yung Messiah nila. Eh. So, red alert sila. Pero, Nung pumarada si Pontius Pilate, papasok ng Jerusalem, it, he was sending a message to everyone. And the message was, you're, thinking, you're, you're planning something, drop it. Don't even think about it. Kung inisip nyo mag ito ang kakalabanin ninyo. The full force of the Roman army. At yun na nga yung pinakita niya, no? So yung mga tao, uy, Bihiran. Super power to. Hindi natin kaya to. Tapos, eto si Jesus, isang probinsyano, Galile, Galilean. Looked down by the Jews in, in uh, Jerusalem and in Judea. At pumasok din siya sa Jerusalem. Pumasok siya, hindi nakasakay sa war horse. Nakasakay siya sa donkey. Maliit na buriko. At yung army niya, walang espada. Meron actually dalawa, no? Dalawa nung, nung, uh, ano na, nung Getsemane. Pero yung araw na yun, ang sandata nila, palaspas. Paano tayo mananalo dito? Isipin nila siguro, no? Paano natin tatalunin yan? Si Pontius Pilate pa lang yan, eh. Isang, isang go- gobernador pa lang yan ng isang distrito, hindi pa yun yung buong, buong Roma paano natin sila tatalunin? Pero siguro iniisip nila, nalilito sila, no? This, si Jesus ang Messiah, eh. siya magde-deliver sa atin. Siguro, ang gagawin niya, kasi nakita naman natin yung mga magic niya, di ba? Pinadami niya yung pagkain, pinagaling niya yung may sakit, binuhay niya yung may patay. Ay siguro, mag-hocus-focus yan, at tatalunin pa rin natin yung, ano, yung, yung Roman Empire. No? And then, that, that's, imagine what, what was going through the minds of the disciples. Imagine that. Kaya nga si Peter at si Judas, iniisip nila, mag-aklas pa rin tayo. Kaya si Peter, isa siya sa dalawang may hawak ng espada dun sa Garden of Gethsemane at nakipag-away na nga siya. But that was not the plan of Jesus. In fact, sinabi niya sa mga disipulo niya, papunta silang Jerusalem, nakaba yung biyahe, nakaba yung lakad nila. They all knew that he was, they all believed he was the Christ and they thought the reason they were going to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, was to enthrone him. Gagawin natin siyang hari sa, sa Jerusalem. Tanggalin natin dyan si Herod at pati yung mga Romano at uh, gagawin na natin siyang hari. But three times, Jesus told his disciples, Okay, alam niyo pupunta tayo Jerusalem, di ba? Ito ang mangyayari sa Jerusalem. The son of man, me, the Messiah, the Christ, will be betrayed. He will be handed over to the chief priests who will hand him over to Gentiles, who will execute him, who will in- insult him, will spit upon him, will scourge him, and will execute him, finally. But after three days, he will rise again. Tatlong beses niya sinabi yun. Isang beses, si Peter sinabi, ay, hindi pwede yan, Lord. Hari ka eh. Ikaw ang papalit kay Herod. Ikaw ang papalit kay Pontius, kay, ano, kay Caesar. Hindi ka mamamatay. And then Jesus rebuked him, right? Sabi Jesus, 
Hindi mo alam pinagsasabi mo. You're, you're interested in the, the agenda of man, not the business of God. So, hindi nagkulang si Jesus. But what I'm pointing out is, sometimes we see the adversity, the opposition as intimidating, formidable, parang hindi natin kayang talunin. Parang di natin kayang i-overcome. Sipin nyo, ito na lang building natin eh, di ba? Parang, sipin natin, parang di natin kayang talunin yung presyo ng simento. Di ba? Parang di natin kayang talunin yung presyo ng bakal, di ba? Parang yung, 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 yung simento, yung bakal, construction materials, parang si Pontius Pilate, ang laki-laki, ang dami nila. Tapos tayo, Ang leader natin, nakasakay lang sa ano? Sa donkey. Tapos tayo, ang hawak natin, hindi mga swords, kundi mga palaspas. And sometimes, if we walk by, fi- by, by sight, we will be discouraged. Anong sinasabi ni Jesus palagi? Palagi siyang nag ending dun sa, pag sinabi niyang, ito mangyayari sa Jerusalem. And he, he describes Holy Week in 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 brief, ito mangyayari. Hindi na sinabi ko na araw. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, etc. Ito mangyayari. Insultuin ng, ang, the Son of Man. He will suffer in the hands of sinners. He will be insulted. He will spit upon. He will be crucified. And always he ends with, but after three days, he will rise again. Kaya ang tawag niya, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Ang tingin natin, ang tingin nilang lahat sa krus. Wala na, talo na tayo. Dun pa lang sa ano eh, Good Friday pa lang eh. Remember, the, the people were praising Him on Sunday, praising Jesus on Sunday. E tapos na aresto. Tapos nag-viral. Ay, itong misaya ninyo, criminal. Sintensyado siya ngayon. This is a condemned criminal and he's going to be put to death Friday. Ayan na, nakaschedule niya. Kaya yung mga nag, nagpapalaspas sa kanya noong linggo, sumali na dun sa, ano, sa crowd. Eh, manluloko pala yan eh. Di ba? Sintensyado. Napatunayang may, may pagkakasala o sintensyado. Crucify him, crucify him. Pati yung mga disipulo niya, ay eh, natakot na rin. Di ba? Si Peter, dininay na siya. Tapos, nag-alisan na sila. And that's what happened. If they knew, sabi nga ng isang kanta, no, nobody knew his secret ambition. Nobody knew his claim to fame. Hindi nila alam. Kahit yung mga disipulo, hindi nila naintindihan yung prophecy ni Zechariah. So Zechariah, by the way, was a contemporary of Alexander the Great. Gusto ninyong i-Google yan. Alexander the Great was one of the, the greatest emperors and conquerors of history of the old world. At 30, before he was 30, 35 years old, ang laki na nung empire niya. Pero yung time na yun, at aware si, ano, no? aware si Zechariah kasi yung Israel under din ng, ano, eh, ng empire ni Alexander the Great. Eh. Zechariah wrote the famous words. He said, uh, lang natin. Rejoice greatly. Greatly, ah. Habang inaalipin kayo, rejoice. Rejoice, hindi lang rejoice. Rejoice greatly. Shout in triumph. Maalipin. <laughs> Matagumpay tayo. Di ba? Ang sinabi niya yun. Shout in triumph, O daughter of Zion, O daughter of Jerusalem. Why? Behold, your king is coming to you. Just and endowed with salvation, with deliverance. Sa yung mag, mag, magsasalba sa inyo. Humble. Imagine this, huh? Humble. Not with a big sword, not on a big horse, not with a big retinue of uh, strong military uh, soldiers, but humble and mounted on a donkey. 
Kaya, pinulfill ni Jesus yung prophecy nito eh. Even on a colt, the foal of a donkey, I will cut off the chariot, <clears throat> I'll cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. Ito, Ephraim, Jerusalem, Israelites. Sabi na, hindi tayo gagamit ng, ng chariot. Hindi tayo gagamit ng, ng kabayo. Because a, a horse is a false hope for victory. Sabi ng Old Testament. The bow of war will be cut off. Diba? Sabi ng Psalms, he cuts the spear in two. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. Hindi yan ang gagamitin natin. Ang gagamitin natin, humility. Gagamitin natin, pagpapatawad. Ang gagamitin natin, pag-ibig. Para natin, mapasuko ang kaaway. And he will speak peace to the nations. And his dominion will be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. And that's what Jesus did. My question to you is this. Nasaan na ngayon si Pontius Pilate? Nasaan na ngayon si Julius Caesar? Si Augustus Caesar? Nasaan na sila ngayon? Nasaan na yung Roman Empire ngayon? Ano yung nakatayo dun sa Roma ngayon? The kingdom of God. Without using a single sword. Without being violent. Ang ginawa ni Jesus, pinasunod niya yung mga, mga alipin niya, mga disciple niya. Sinabi, mahalin niyo yung mga nag sa inyo. Because Holy Week ends with Easter. And during Holy Week, Jesus was like a lamb being led to slaughter. He did not open his mouth to revile back against his, his executioners. He was silent. And when he did open his mouth, the words that came out were, Father, forgive them. Kaya siya nanalo. Diba? So, my encouragement to all of us is this. We may sometimes see or think that yung, yung, yung sitwasyon ay parang bleak, no? walang pag-asa. Kaya yung mukha, mga mukha natin, Birni Santo. Encouragement to us is see things the way Jesus sees them. Yes, maybe sorrowful. Yes, painful. But we can overcome. We will overcome. How? By following Him. Denying ourselves, taking up our crosses, and following Him. Not fighting back. Not fighting back. The same prophet, Zechariah, said, it's not by might, nor by power, nor military power, whatever kind of power, guns and tanks and bombs. No, not by those things, but by the Spirit of God will we overcome and fulfill the will of God for us. Sana wag natin makalimutan kasi napakadaling kalimutan yan pag naharap na tayo sa mga di ba sa mga pagsubok eh. Pag naharap na tayo sa mga Romano ng buhay natin, sa mga Hudyo ng buhay natin, sa mga Cruz ng buhay natin, sana matandaan natin, sandali, hindi dito to nagtatapos. Holy Week doesn't end with Good Friday. The story doesn't end with Good Friday and the crucifixion. The story ends with Easter Sunday, which is at the same time a new beginning. Let us be encouraged and follow. Yun lang yun, that's the key. Follow Jesus to Calvary. Lead me to Calvary. Kinakanta natin sa Lent. Because that's how we will overcome. That's how we overcame. That's how we will overcome with Him. And that's the way it is in the kingdom of our God.